Welcome in PLC Smarty video. In this video we shortly show how you can use the trace function in the troubleshooting uh, your machine. For example, you have some problem, something set on, but you don't see it in the program because it's run too fast, because the run uh, cycle of the PLC is too fast. For example, I create this network where when I set trigger variable to 1 then I set the checked signal variable for only 20 milliseconds and sometimes sometimes you don't see it in your program when you are online how you can see we don't see this one will be this one was set for the 20 milliseconds for this you can use for example trace function so we go to the traces we click on the add new trace here in the configuration of the trace you choose which signal you want to trace in your PLC so we go oops sorry we insert here our signal checked signal okay then we just set we need to record every sample every cycle of the PLC and using the max recording duration for this situation it's 58,250 samples okay we want to record our trace immediately and okay so save the project and now we transfer trace configuration to the PLC now we transfer it and here in the graph we see when our checked signal variable was set to true okay Hop. for example like this so now we go online when I click on the activate recording then we start to record these 58,000 samples where every sample is one cycle of the PLC and here we see the state of the checked signal variable so for example I start the recording and now I modify trigger to one okay so now we wait and here we can see the check signal variable was zero and in this moment this variable was true for this time period how we can see here we have <clears throat> the time period which we record is approximately 10 seconds and now we go check how long was checked signal in the true state and how we can see it's also approximately 20 milliseconds it's how we defined here in the timer 20 milliseconds so I think this is a very useful function for troubleshooting your PLC program on the or some some problems on your machine. So thank you for watching the video and goodbye.